Welcome back, decluttering champions. You've made it to the final part of our series. What a journey it's been. Together, we've navigated through the clutter one item at a time with the goal of creating a minimalist, more mindful living space. If you're just tuning in, don't worry. The previous four episodes are ready and waiting for you to catch up on. We've been working towards this moment, the culmination of our efforts, the final chapter. We're about to reveal the last 20 items on our ultimate declutter list. Are you ready? This is not just about a clean space, but a clear mind too. Imagine a full week where your routine revolves around simplicity and tranquility. But before we dive in, we'd love to hear about your experience. How has your decluttering journey been so far? We're excited to read your stories. Now, let's get ready to dive into the last leg of this journey. All right, it's time to roll up our sleeves and tackle our final list of 20 items to declutter. Ready? Let's dive in. First up, we have obsolete board games or puzzles. If they're gathering dust and no longer sparking joy during your get-togethers, it's time to let them go. Second, extra water bottles or tumblers. Keep only what you need for hydration on the go. Next, we have unused gardening tools. If you're not using them regularly, consider sharing them with a friend or donating. Fourth, unused Tupperware or food storage containers. Keep only what you need and recycle the rest. Fifth, unused or duplicate office supplies. It's easy to accumulate these, but remember, less is more. Sixth, unused or broken sports equipment. If it's not serving its purpose, why keep it around? Moving on, expired or unused candles. They might smell nice, but if they're just sitting there, it's time to say goodbye. Eighth, old and worn out furniture. If it's not adding value to your space, it's time to part ways. Next, expired coupons. If you're not going to use them, toss them. Old cosmetics. These can be a breeding ground for bacteria, so it's best to keep your collection fresh. And again, take a good look at your wardrobe. There could be many more items. Such outwear that you no longer wear should be the first to go. Next, t-shirts and especially jeans. If they're not flattering or comfortable, why keep them? The next item on the list is old and worn out bedding. You deserve to sleep in comfort. 14th, towels. If they're not fluffy anymore, it's time for an upgrade. Don't we all love to collect shopping bags? They're reusable, but you don't need a mountain of them. Lastly, batteries. If they are empty, recycle it. By the way, they can be harmful if not disposed of properly, so make sure to follow recycling rules. Hey, that's a 100. Congratulations, you've completed the full cycle of 100 items. Can you believe it? Tell us about your new space. You've not only created a cleaner space, but also a clearer mind. Remember to follow recycling rules as you dispose of your decluttered items. It's been a journey, hasn't it? You've sorted through, organized, and let go of 100 items. That's no small feat, but don't stop here. Keep this momentum going. Consider revisiting this list after a few months. By then, you'll have a new set of items to reevaluate, and the process will feel even more rewarding. Now we'd love to hear from you. How are you feeling? Lighter, more focused? Share your experiences in the comments below. We want to know all about your decluttering journey. And remember, decluttering isn't just about creating physical space and you might not have all the items from the list, but it's also about making room for new energies, new opportunities, a clearer mind. Thanks for joining us. If you had fun and want more excitement, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We've got tons of awesome content lined up and let's embark on a journey of transformation together where you'll become a happier, better version of yourself.